Hi there, welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove blank rows from a data set in Excel using a formula. Now, this is something that you can do using other methods such as uh, go to special or power query or VBA, but then formula is also a very easy way to quickly remove all the blank rows. In fact, this is the method that I prefer in most cases when I'm working with a small data set because I have this formula ready and I can just copy and paste it and it gives me the result. So let me show you how it works. So let's start with a simple example here. I have this one column data where I have these names and I want all of these names together and I want to get rid of all of these blank cells. And this can be done by using a very simple filter function. So here I'm going to use the filter function where the first argument is the array, which is going to be these cells. And then the second argument is going to be a range of trues and falses, where if the value is true, then the filter function is going to return the cell from this range. And if it is false, it is not going to return the range. And then in this case, what I would do is just use this range and then say it's not equal to blank. And now when I hit enter, it gives me all these names because this cell is going to return a true when this uh, part is evaluated and this cell is going to return a false. So it is not included in the filter result. Now, if we have multiple columns, then we can use the same logic, but we will have to tweak the formula a little. So let's try the same thing here. Let's try the same filter formula logic where this is my array. And then my condition here is going to be this array not equal to blank. And now when I hit enter, it gives me a value error because it does not know how to do it. And the reason for this is because when I use this part here, it gives me a 2D array. See what happens when I use this formula here, it gives me this range of trues and falses. But within the filter function, for each row, I just need one single value. I do not need all these values, which means that I would somehow have to convert this entire range into one single true or false. If this is filled, it should be true. If this is not filled, it should be false. So let's recreate the formula. So I'm going to use the filter function, but let's create the second argument of the filter function first, and then we will put it within the filter function. So in this case, I'm going to use the is is blank function, where if I select this entire range, you'll see that it returns trues and falses, false if the cell is filled and true if the cell is not filled. But I do not want these three separate values. I want just one single value. So I'm going to use the by row function where this is my first argument. So this is going to return a range of trues and falses, a 2D array, just like what you're seeing on the screen. And then I need to use a function. Now in the second argument, you'll see that there are already some built-in functions that I can use. But in this case, I actually want to use an AND function where if all the cells return true, it gives me true. If any of the cells returns false, it gives me a false. So in this case, because AND is not in this case, I would have to use a Lambda. So in this case, if I use the Lambda function, I need to first pass an argument, a parameter, which in this case, I can call it anything. Let's call it row or just R, uh, where each uh, the parameter one by one is going to represent each row in this array because we are using the by row function. So it is going to go row by row. And then the second argument is the function that I need to apply on that row, which is going to be the AND function and then R within it. So it is going to take the first row, then apply this function. Sorry, I just need Okay, let's make this row because when I use R within parentheses, it considers it as a registered trademark. So just use the variable row here. And now when I hit enter, you can see I have false and true false where all of these cells are filled and true when all of these cells are not filled. But I do not want this. I want the, re the reverse, which is if the cells are filled, it should be true, else it should be false. So I would just flip this. Now one minor adjustment I would do here in this case is I do not even need to use the entire lambda function. I can just remove it and only use the and function. And this is called eta lambda, which means that this function, uh, the lambda function, the by row function automatically knows that it needs to apply the and function on each row of this range. So this is going to also work. It simplifies our formula. Now we are going to take this part here and now use this within the filter function. So this is my array. And then the criteria here is going to be this, which is going to return a true or a false. If it is a true, that entire row is returned. And if it is a false, that entire row is skipped. So now when I hit enter, it gives me the result here. I can get rid of this. Now, another thing I want to test in this case is if I put a value here or here, 
would it return something as would it consider it as a blank row or not because ideally if i have something here it shouldn't be considered a blank row see what happens when i hit enter it is actually considered by the formula so the formula does not skip this because now it doesn't consider this as a blank row so it gives us this now in this case it gives us zeros so if you want you can use an if function to get rid of the zeros and show blank but this is a foolproof formula now it will give it will skip all the blank rows but if any of the rows it could be any number of columns but if any of the cell in the row is filled it would not be skipped and if all the cells in that row are empty blank then this is going to skip it and only give you and stack all the rows and give you the rows that are filled. Another thing I want to show you is that you can further simplify this formula. So in this case, I have used this filter function where I need to uh, apply the range, specify the range twice. But if you want, you can use the let function where I would use a variable, let's say data. And then within data, I would select this range. And in your case, you can select any range you want. And then I would use the filter function. So within the filter function, now, now I do not need to specify the range twice. I can just use this variable. And now when I hit enter, it gives me the same result. But in case my range changes, you just need to make the change here and not make the changes in two places. So you can simplify it by using the let function. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. I will give a link of this file in the description so you can click and download this file from here. I uh, hope you found this useful. If you're liking these videos, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.